Welcome back to Tommy Talks Season 2. We have a special show for Super Bowl this week. We're in store at Caps down here at High Point and I'm joined by some superstars. First of all, boys, welcome. I've got Hayden Crozier, Josh Dunkley from the Doggies and then Jakey from the Unlaced Podcast. If you haven't checked out the Unlaced Podcast, I'm sure you have already, make sure you do. I think you just had the Melbourne Storm boys on, if I'm yes, correct, mate. Yes, it was, mate. We had um, coming out next week, so it'll be after this episode. We got a quick turnaround, don't we, for yep. Super But yeah. Um, yeah, Ryan Pappenhausen, uh, Jerome Hughes, uh, Kenny Bromwich, and Shandor L. So that was good, mate, because they just released uh, an NFT. Uh, they're big into their crypto space like me. So we had a good yeah. chat about that in footy. So, um, yeah, pumped, mate. That was the first one for the year. Nothing that they're the biggest names at the Unlaced Boys. Yeah, mate, Clive Churchill medalist there. So that's yeah, a, that's, that's big. a big get, mate. That's a normal big get. It is. Uh, it is. Footy, so, yeah, it was good fun. And, um, and the boys from the Dogs, the first, I think we were number three. Well, you helped me out with my third episode in Perth, and we're back here now in Victoria. How was your day today, lads? Yeah, it was good, mate. Big session today on the track. So, how did that episode go? Did it get Yeah, it was hits? good. It was good. good. I have a comment on that episode, actually. The, the entrance scene. Oh, the yeah. The boys coming in. Because wasn't that, wasn't that the one? Yeah, it, yeah. mate. It was like, mate, who's coming behind the door? The gangster music, Tommy's in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, my God, apartment. Who's, who's running this show? Oh, I was running a muck <laughs> house. <laughs> yeah, the penthouse suite. Welcome to the Perth. penthouse suite. Tab <laughs> I think I just kicked, I think I paid Tabs to get out of his own apartment. <laughs> we went straight out of quarantine for us. And it yeah. was like, straight to the apartment. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> straight into it. It was, um, I was saying, we were saying before, like, it was, it was bizarre. Like, I was running it. I was just... No real producer, not yeah. like consistent one, no apartment, no no, no idea really. Um, but yeah, thanks for having us boys, it's good. Crosley, let's start with you mate. You, if anyone out there doesn't know, Cross has been at LA, you went for a training camp over New Year's. I did, yep. How was that? Yeah, it was good mate. Um, it was initially supposed to be two weeks, ended up being four weeks because got the spicy flu after New Year's. So that threw a spanner in the works a little bit, but um, yeah, awesome experience. Got a lot of good training out of there, met a lot of good people, so um, yeah, it was good. Just on the training stuff, was it USC that you went to their gym? No, nah, so I did I, was no. a, I did a couple of sessions at UCLA. UCLA, um, sorry. UC San Diego, which Dunks has had a couple of nightmares there training. So. A couple of shockers. Really? really? Yeah, 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 mate, why is that? Yeah. yeah. There's, a, there's, a, oh, there's a coach there that we, Fonty and I, hooked up with a couple of times, and um, he flogged us literally every day. Okay. So Crosby knows the spot. He, he'd never come with us. Oh, I saw these stairs, and he was telling me like this stairway, stairway to heaven, heaven. Like, stairway to hell. It's stairway called stairway to hell. To hell. Yeah. Oh no way! I yeah, rocked up heaven. and I was like, "This looks awfully familiar from what Doug's has said." Yeah, he sent me a Snapchat. Team, he was just like, nah, <laughs> "You can't be doing that." What, what, what was he doing? What sessions? Oh mate, it was just on legs every day. You know, like footy, it's like day on sort of day off. On, on legs one day, off legs the next, and then mate, this guy was like literally every day on legs running. Oh, running. Speed, power, in the gym straight after. Love the Doms, didn't he? Dom, like, I've never been so sore in my life. And did he, did, like, were you at risk, you reckon, or? <laughs> no, nah, well, he was like. He didn't have a choice. You know, yeah. his, his, philosophy, <laughs> his philosophy was all about, like, if you're sore, it's good because your muscles are sore for a reason. So you're strengthening those weak areas. Oh, that's So, awesome. mate, there was a couple of days we couldn't get out of, out of bed. It was well, actually, what's up. the stairway to hell? Is that a staircase? So it's like stairs. So in America, they've got like these grandstands oh, the that have, or whatever that yeah. Is. So like one step is two stairs for us, yeah, sort of thing. Yeah. So there's, there's you go up like fifteen steps and then back down the little <laughs> steps. So it's up and down like six times. Run a four hundred, <laughs> and it's a time trial. Thirty minutes is as many laps as you can do. Oh mate, no, that's not. Right. I did my first leg session last week. <laughs> one two boxing, <laughs> mate. I couldn't walk. We did. It was. Very minor leg. It was like <laughs> sumo squats with 15 kilos and like lunge pulses and all that. Four days and I cool. still could hardly sit on the dunny and get up. <laughs> just like me hammies and adductors, which is, oh, I'm back now. But yeah. it always takes that one big session. Oh, yeah, always. Are you going around again? Are you going to play footy this year? Or nah, you? Man, no, you're done. No, I'm done, yeah. man. Really? Uh, yeah, I'm done. I'd prefer to watch you boys and, and 
have a few beers on Friday. Because <laughs> it's a big commitment. Hey, you still could. I still could. I'm still training. I what do. Are you 28? I want to just roll out and play one or two if I feel like Mate, it. There's any country teams out there who yeah. will offer Tommy 20 so grand. Yeah, he'll be there tomorrow. He'll literally be there tomorrow. <laughs> I'm out of retirement. He'll be captain so coach. I'll do whatever you want to do. I'll, so I'll, check. I'll run water just so you don't message me. <laughs> yeah. I'd actually prefer to run water out to the boys and, and get around them than, than play. It's a big commitment. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, leg weights. Yeah, it's not for me. Mate. Not for me. If you don't do them for a while as well, you get that yeah. sensation for like it's a week and you can't bloody feel them. Yeah, yeah. That's why it's good to be in that shape. It's good to be back in the gym though. I'm trying to get some 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 uh, muscle back on this skinny frame. <laughs> like, I don't mind wearing these because they cover up uh, the whole rig. I feel you. <laughs> You're 11 for me, and I'm still. Like yeah, I, know, I was bigger at 16. I go back to school. Back to LA though, because it was it was a it was a spontaneous trip. You did it because you had a um it was a tough year for you last year, but we won't go serious. But you went there for training and you. Dominated over there, but you got stuck there because you got COVID. What was that like? And, we had, and and what conversations were like? Did you have to have with the club? Yeah, well, the club were pretty good about it because there was a fair few boys that had it in Melbourne over the break. Anyway, I'm sure every other club were in the same situation. Yep. So the club was fine about it. That was sort of the risk we knew going into sort of planning it. I spoke to um, the coaches and a few guys sort of higher up at the club, and they backed me in and said it's obviously for a good cause. And um, so personally, I thought it was a good good chance to be able to sort of get that little edge on everyone else and be able to sort of use my resources over there. So, um, yeah, it sent me back sort of five days over there. The, the rules are a little bit different isolation-wise there than here. So that was probably another advantage that the guys here are actually generally stuck for seven days in, in home ISO. So um, still got some good training in. Um, and then, yeah, sort of on the back end of that trip, was lucky but sort of unlucky because obviously I, I wanted to be back at the club. Um, I missed the first few trainings back. Um, which wasn't ideal, but um, yeah, managed to get to some good events sort of later before I flew back, which I had no choice of, obviously. So yeah. um, you get the the two week no fly um, rule pretty much as soon as you get it. So that pushed it back to getting back on the nineteenth. So I managed oh, to, you got to love that. Like an awful situation to be. <laughs> to be honest with you, it was probably the most stressful like yeah, forty eight hours of my been. life before I flew home because yeah. um, you never really know, especially with like COVID testing and stuff. You never yeah. really know what can happen. Um, but yeah, I managed to get to the NFL playoff game, which is sort of a good end to probably a rough sort of last few days. Yeah, yeah, stressful. But geez, it looked good. And then you go for the you go for the cards. Yeah. Um, they got smoked. The Rams. We're going to talk about the big game later on, the big Super Bowl. But geez, Kyler, he actually cost me a lot of money. Kyler, <laughs> <laughs> I needed him to run like twenty yards. He got sacked like he was getting. He played one of the worst games he's ever played. Yeah, yeah. But I think watching it from afar and. I showed you the videos and you said it was a fart. Oh, we've got to send me some of that footage, um, man. It's epic. Just how quickly they were getting to Kyler. Like, we were just no chance. We, I think we had, like, seven passing yards in the first half or something. Really yeah. Cool. Oh, so you had yeah. no Hopkins playing really hurts, and then they just doubled. They kind of, yeah, their defence ran a mark. Yeah, so um, that was a little bit frustrating, but seeing SoFi Stadium live, um, just the entertainment, just how sort of big a playoff game is. I mean, I've been to a few NFL games over the years, but obviously no playoff games. Yeah. Good experience. We spoke, we spoke about that before we came on, but what did you show us? Yeah. Do you reckon, like, because the stadium, everyone that I know that's been there said the same thing to us. Like, the most unbelievable experience, the screen going around, all the yeah. lights. Having played footy here in the stadiums, like, is there a big difference? I know you went on the ground, but, like, just the way it's done, the way it's built. I think, um, well, I think the entertainment side of it's a little bit different. Um, yeah. I think the way, even, like, the music and stuff that they play pre-game is a lot different to what we cop at our games, but I think... The fans in general, like you think about like the craziest footy fans you know, and then have 80,000 of those in yeah. the stadium. Like every chant they do, every single person's yeah. doing it. We're in footy, obviously. You've yeah. got your cheer squads and stuff, but not everyone joins in. Even like dance cams, like oh, kiss really? cams, everything like that. How good's the kiss cam? Everyone just gets around. Yeah, so it's it, like more integrated than yeah. in the crowd yeah. okay. in yeah. the. I saw a video the other day, <laughs> the kiss cam fails, and there was one guy. He's on the phone. He must have been on the phone for work, and his missus is like, "He's like, oh, we're on." He's like, "Shut the fuck up!" <laughs> <laughs> and the kids cams on. He's like, "She's like, look, babe, look," and he's like, "Fuck, I'm on the phone." <laughs> and then the mascot picks her up oh, and like no. takes her off. I was like, "Gold, mate." Oh, yeah, that's they, unreal. Kiss cam. It doesn't. Yeah, you know, we don't have much of that, do we? Did, you went to the. I saw you on the um, television the other night for the basketball. Yeah. Funny enough, well done getting your head on there. But did they do anything like that at the NBL? Uh, they do like like dance camps and stuff like that, but it's all sort of like the kids that are on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas like you would know from being to American sports, like that 50 year old man are just yeah, getting yeah. up, getting, and they get into getting it their rings out. Like they're full like passion, just hung in there and everything, don't yeah, they? Yeah. yeah. yeah so many guys are starting chants. They did like, the Rams are doing like, they're like, whose house? And everyone's like, Rams house. But literally 
where we were sitting, there would have been 25 blokes like just doing it every two yeah. minutes. Yeah, yeah. Because they all tailgate before it too. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. they're, they're, all, they're yeah. all in the bleachers. All... Did you get to any college games? Uh, no, I didn't get to any college games in the end. I don't think. Yeah, so, no. yeah, they're um, they're good fun. Actually, you... no, I did. I don't even know why I forgot about that. Went to the Rose Bowl, so that was that was big. So that was New Year's Day. So that was Ohio State and Utah. Yeah, and that was yeah, that was a really good game. That was like the first I'd been to like a USC game before, and that was like homecoming. So that was like pretty big, but. Um, yeah, this is a big one. But like, honestly, the game took like five hours. So by the end of it, everyone was just. You can't drink in there either. Nah, so everyone was just pretty keen to get out of there. Always said we want to go to White Knight in Michigan. Yeah, mi- yeah, like Penn, Penn State. State. Penn I was State. just about to say Penn State. That's yeah. where the Saquon went. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I saw a video. It goes off, mate. It's. Yeah. I want to. I'm exactly. That's my bucket list. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> the, we've yeah, talked about that. Real. We've talked about that since we've been nah, over there. Honestly. I actually saw a video last night about them when they walk out of the race, and it's off its head. Yeah. It's so loud, oh, that's mate. That's crazy. Everyone dressed they're not the up in white. They're not the, so the best. Whole the whole stadium's white. in white. Yep. Wow. Whole stadium. Yeah, and the whole they stadium. chant. They're <laughs> There's like 110,000 or something. You'd hate to be the opposing guy. Well, you couldn't. Well, you, you wouldn't be able to hear a thing. Yeah. The snap count. You'd be doing it on site. You wouldn't not be able to communicate a thing. How fun would that be if you were just going to college and you just turned well, up to that stuff? Like you're just watching superstars. They're not that. Are they, they, are they a good college? Like, do they have a winning record? Is it just more their just... Well, Michigan and... Penn State, State are pretty good. Yeah. Michigan were real Michigan good. Michigan were top yeah. four. Michigan made it to the college. They were top four this year, I think. Yeah. But Penn State, I haven't seen. Yeah, I don't yeah, think. They're sort of been around like. They're just more about the top entertainment. 15, top 25. Yeah. 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 yeah, probably. Which we love. Which is why yeah, Doug's don't want to go there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We'll be like 35 year old tailgate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These losers rocking yeah, just up. Just keeping the party going. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you've got to start early though, yeah, because they don't let you drink in there. Yeah, well, that's it. So you just get tanked and then you go in there. Sober up as the game goes on. Unless you sneak a couple in there. <laughs> 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 right? Yeah, or you just put it in your soft drink and say it's Sprite or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Dunks? What have you been up to, mate? It'd be remiss of me not to thank you for the com- accommodation in Noosa. Up in Noosa, yeah. What a beautiful house. If you don't, if you need to go somewhere to stay, one of the nicest houses on the Airbnb. Oh, really? So, and it happens to be the great man's house. It's got about 55 Get bedrooms. In. 55 <laughs> bedrooms, I wish. <laughs> It's an absolute cracker. Mate, mate, that's an amazing spot. When did you, uh, yeah, when did you buy that? I got it a few years ago now, mate. So yeah. it was a bit of a risk at the time, but yeah. it turned out really well for me. So Oh, you got to risk it for the biscuit. Well, exactly. <laughs> He's exactly. Now. He'll so, um, oh, yeah. Yeah. I'll give you the tip. damages since uh, Tommy's departure, no? Nah. No, nah, I don't think so. It was a pretty clean slate. Yeah, yeah. After yeah. very tough. Good ball. Mum and dad were there. I can't think, unless they threw a party when I wasn't there. As was it last year for like school this time? Was it the year before? So... We were just on Insta, and I'm like, I wonder if, like, anyone's... Because he, he, oh, yeah. he had, like, young people staying at his house. Yeah. And I think he said, like, you know, no schoolies. No, par- no parties and, and no, stuff. No yeah, parties, yeah. no schoolies, whatever. And there was, and he's like, I want to search news in the tags. First photo that comes up, all these young kids posing. At your to, house. Next to the boat. <laughs> Unbelievable. So it was, like, some... A family, I can't remember. But uh, they, they said, oh, yeah, like, the mum's going, mum and dad are going... Just no mum and dad. It was just all kids. It's a classic though. It's exactly what we do when you go. To New yeah. York, you know, when you go overseas, it's like no parties. Must be open. Our families. Yeah. Tick 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 tick. Yeah. Oh, at least they uh, they left the house alright. So that's the main thing. Yeah. Though. But yeah, I haven't been up to too much. I just spent Christmas back home with the family and um, yeah, brother and sister. Sister lives in Queensland, obviously, so she came down. A lot of dads, brothers, and sisters came, so it was really nice to spend some time with the family over Christmas yeah. and New Year's and. Girlfriend came down as well, so yeah. Other than that, um, spent some time in Adelaide, which has actually been a bit surprising for me. Yeah. I haven't spent a lot of time there, and it's actually not like a bad. It? It's not a bad city. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a bad rug. Right. It's a bad rug. It's good. Cool. Oh, yeah, so many people. people. Good people live there. You say you're going to Adelaide, <laughs> and you're like, also great, man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I, I lived there for two years. Close. Yeah. Yeah. Everywhere in 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. Place. Yeah. The beaches, like yeah, the. It's, mate, it's easy to get. It's around. cold in winter. It's similar to Melbourne. It's like, a big country town. That's what they call it. So no traffic, you'd love it, mate. I, no, well, I'm going there for a wedding. I've got oh, yeah. Michael Talia's wedding in a couple of weeks. Yeah, nice. That'll be quiet, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> but so we'll catch up with a few old old mates there. Yeah. Uh, Mike Crosby, though, I did cop COVID as well a couple of weeks ago. So got the uh, month immunity and then yeah. three months without. I don't know what the three month thing is. What's that? Let's get out of the way early, mate. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, you can't I'm get I'm hoping. Yeah. This is what people don't know. Yeah, antibodies. Um, yeah. so by the way, so. shout out to your sister. Congratulations, Vice oh, Captain. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, it is. Saw that awesome. the other day, so big shout out. Um, 
the rapid tests. Everyone out there is complaining about these rapids, you know, how hard they are. These boys have, mate, if you want a rapid test, call an AFL boy, because these, <laughs> tell them about what you used to have to do every single day. I might put it on Facebook Marketplace. I yeah. think it's, <laughs> you guys can be, you're going to be making yeah, a, yeah, a lot yeah, of side yeah. hustle. Well, we have, we've got like, I don't know how many boxes they give us, but every day we do a test, every morning. It's, it's required that you do a rapid every day before yeah. you go to training, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, you've got to put it in on this app now that we've got, like the oh, AFL and really develop it. It's yeah. full on. It's crazy. Yeah. It's full on. It's a full process. So yeah, we do have a bit of storage at home. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's a flipping business there, mate. Yeah. Buy and resell. It is, it is. It's not sneaky, mate. <laughs> um, I, think, I do think there's a few more coming out now, isn't there? Rapids? Yeah, oh, mate, I've got no idea. My mate gave me a tip on the share market on this uh, on this rapid thing. He's like, they're coming, they're coming. I go, well, you, you sure, mate? And he goes, oh, so I had a little dabble right on it. And then the next minute, like, oh, bang, on the floor. <laughs> and then they go and they're going, like, just did a new deal in New Zealand. Yeah. And then COVID hit again. I go, you, you know, like, this thing's going to go to the moon. Buy high, sell low. <laughs> I was buy, <laughs> yeah, I just buy, I buy, the, mate, whatever I do, just, just don't follow. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that was, uh, that was quite funny. But, um, look, boys, let's move on to the NFL season. It was a huge season. Um, loved your shirt, by the way. That just sums up the season. A lot can right. happen. Crazy. A lot can happen. Will this go up in value? It, it's no. A, it's going to be a vintage no. stuff. <laughs> no <laughs> way. I don't reckon they can get rid of them. Yeah. Um, After if, the next week, it might. Yeah, his new jerseys will at the Rams because they'd be ready. It'd be hard to get one, I reckon. Yeah. But it was a big season. Um, and I've got some questions down there. But I guess who was the, in fantasy world, but also watching, who was the biggest bust for you guys this year? Who was someone that you thought was going to have a big year? and oh. they Getting the first pick in our fantasy draft. I actually had the first pick in a couple, so I thought McCaffrey was just straight to the bank. He gave me, what, four games, and that was about it. So oh. I, I love him, but, yeah, bust, unfortunately. It, and, and it's the pick one curse every yeah. year. Pick one. Oh, no, I was carrying on You don't well. want it. No, no one, for some no. reason, you should win it. Well, you, you should. It's a hard one. But, yeah, pick one is you get the best player every year, and for some so reason, there's on. a pick one curse. No one ever wins. <laughs> yeah, Get injured or something happens. Something yeah. happens yeah. or, yeah, so... What about you, mate? Um, I was a bust too. Is that what you're talking about? Or you talking well, about? yeah, you were a bust because you were one of the worst I lost, trades. I lost the last three and traded Cros T Higgins <laughs> for who? Just who? Turned it on. Oh, I can't remember. Cros rolled you hard yeah, there. Yeah, big time. <laughs> <laughs> the dog's doing. <laughs> well, I, tell, I, was, I was talking to my mate Adam Trelaw. Give him a bit of a shout out. He's like, no, nah, it's a good trade. Yeah, well, he's, he's, he's rolled you as well. Yeah. I reckon he was paying ads. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Inside inside a couple of rapids. Yeah, a couple of rapids, mate. <laughs> They're rare as hen's teeth, those rapids. <laughs> you got a couple, by the way. Sneak a few over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that's great. Well, I had Robbie Anderson in one of my leagues, um, and he was he was super frustrating. He was someone that just... Oh, man. Even just, Mahomes. Come yeah, out. Mahomes is up and down a bit. And yeah. he's come out later in the season dominated when we're all done. When yeah. the season, the fantasy's <laughs> over, yeah. Yeah, yeah you, it's, a, it's a cruel game. What about on the other side? What about even just watching? Who's been the biggest gem this year? Biggest gem? Yeah, to watch. In the league? Yeah. Well, probably Jonathan Taylor. Yeah. He, he dominated. Yeah. Put up some awesome numbers. Even Jamar Chase. Going, going from pre-season, everyone's saying that he can't cast. He was dropping all open balls and then started turning on. So. Yeah. yeah. He's so young, isn't he? How yeah. Old is he? Is he I don't know how old 20? he is. 21? He's, oh, I don't know, he's a rookie. Yeah, he's as young as they get. He'll win, he'll, he should win Rookie of the Year. Yeah. He could, he could win MVP next week. If we, we talk Seriously, to him about yeah. Well, he's so good. Yeah. yeah. He's so good. Um, Taylor number one next year? Yeah, it'd be a shoe in, I reckon. Yeah. You'd think so? Yeah. Kamara just got locked up last night, so. <laughs> yeah, <wow. laughs> yeah, I reckon he's dropping down pretty quickly, I reckon. Yeah, he's um, McCaffrey, depending on what he does, but. You'd think he'd, he'd be up he'd there. He'd be up there for sure. Yeah, he'd be up there. Especially if they get, depends on that quarterback situation as yeah. well. Wentz really, um, he shit the bed late. They played the Jags again. You know, they had, to, they had to win the game at the end of the year. And the Colts haven't played um, haven't been against the Lions for a while, the playoffs. And to go down against the Jaguars. That hurts. They got smoked, they, didn't they? They got yeah. smoked, yeah. Um, next so, question for you guys is overtime in playoffs. Yeah. Let's go back to Kansas City and yep. Bills. What's your thoughts on the coin toss? I don't, I don't, I rate, don't, it. I don't rate it either. Yeah, I don't think anyone does. It's yeah. Like, that's been scrutinised the most like from that. But you know what? NFL, credit to them, they don't change it. Like yeah. Yeah. AFL, like, they, they change would, rules all the time they because they listen to the, the noise. Yeah. I, I think, you know, and the NBA is the same. Like They just stick to what they know yeah. is good and they just keep running with it. Well, one, someone did tweet, how about you just play defence? <laughs> exactly. And defense wins championships yeah. because 
if you actually think about the game, and I know we, as, a, as a fan you love the up and down, but to be honest, <laughs> Josh Allen has scored yeah. a touchdown like twice, and Mahomes did something amazing as well. With 13 seconds on the clock, and I, don't, I think they had one or two timeouts, mm. right? And Mahomes is just going bang, bang, timeout, field goal, overtime. I mean, yeah, you can look at it two ways. You can say, how about you play defence? Or you change the rule and fairer. give them the right to reply, which I truthfully think it shouldn't come down to a flip, though. No. As a supporter, like, you'd love to see the other team, Josh Allen, for example, have a chance. One drive each. Yeah. yeah. Just, yeah, give, yeah just give him a shot. Like yeah. yeah, you can't. Assault. Well, they do that in college. If my memory serves me right, and I could be wrong, I don't watch as much college, but I'm pretty sure they get the right of reply. But it's just like it, it's just at the end, it just dies a bit. It's yeah. just like, sort of like they score, and it's just, I know like amazing comeback, obviously, but it just leaves everything on the table. I it's thought like, just give him another, like yeah. he was dominating yeah. as well. So my prediction was Ram, um, was Rams and the Bills. Yeah, so that I was been close because nice. I reckon Bills would have beaten the Bengals. Yeah, Josh Allen was um, yeah he had a massive year. I think they. I think they need to, to change that that rule. Um, Joe Burrow, is he the next Tom? Is he the next Tom Brady? Oh, I don't know if anyone can be the next Tom Brady. Well, but this bloke is going alright. Yeah, right. he's going alright. If he wins, right. if he wins next week, yeah. Because he's not. I mean, he's got a long way to go, but yeah. he's very young. Is he the next real deal? I think so. He's changed the franchise in what two years? I think it's amazing that he did his ACL last year, yeah. and now he's come back and he's doing. I think that in itself's unreal. I'm looking forward to the game because, I mean, you've got Stafford on one end who deserves to be in and around the mark. So I'd be happy if he won it. And then, obviously, Joe Burrow and the Bengals. Everyone loves an underdog. Yeah. Like the Bulldogs in 2016, that sort of setup where everyone yeah. sort of starts to ride um, the team opposite that they go to the other one. So it should be a good game. But we'll he, 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 when did he came in, what, two years ago, was it? Yeah. yeah. Heisman Trophy winner. So I feel like he came in with, like, pressure too. Yeah, pick so one, and then I think everything he's done so far, he's broken every record, and if he wins the Super Bowl, he'll be the first ever to win it um, in year two. Is he in year two? Yeah, year yeah. two. Which is I unbelievable. Love, I just yeah, love that's, the that's insane. Look at his knee, like, bad. Like, if you watch the tape, it's, it's ugly. Yeah. You'd think, oh, he's just come back and gone bang. Straight in. Yeah, and he's got his boy Chase. Yeah. And, yeah. I think you need, as a quarterback, you just need that confidence, and he's like, People would probably say he's a little bit arrogant, but I just love it. Like the kits that he wears, oh, the games. Oh, sunnies like, he rocked the other yeah, day. Yeah, just chirping. Yeah, yeah. Like, that in the press conference. Oh, did I ever? I'm going to make some Rixies. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to create it. I'm just get them and just go make me the Joe Burrows. Yeah. So I actually name him Burrow. That's, That's a good whole, one. The whole setup. JB's. Like, JB's. Like, JB's. Yeah, yeah that, he's he's confident, but he's very measured. I, I liked him when he was speaking the other day about um, <laughs> he's talking about his chain. Did you see that oh, one? Oh, when they said oh, he's yeah, a fake. Yeah, like that fake. He's like, oh, I earn too much money for it to be. And he starts giggling. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's still not even arrogant when he says yeah. it. It's still nice to hear someone yeah. just talking. Imagine about someone saying that in Australia. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I like, oh. yeah, too much. Imagine like the best player in the league. Yeah. Oh, I make too much money for it to be. Dusty yeah, or yeah, like, yeah. Like, yeah. Wife, mate. yeah. <laughs> it'd be so good. Where does Aaron Rodgers play next year? Oh, this is a big one. We were, we were talking about this the other day. There's, I don't know. There's a few spots opening up, like Oregon, San Fran. Where, Oregon, San Fran. Up? Like, what about Tampa Bay? Yeah. Well, my thing is with San Fran, they've just gone and drafted. Him, yeah. They've just gone and drafted a quarterback, quarterback last year. I don't think they'd put another person in front of him because mm. he was an early pick. Um, who was the other but person? They were playing Jimmy G. Yeah, but he was playing. He's a winner. Jimmy G's a winner. True. He plays a bit sloppy, but he wins. Mm. Um, I've forgotten the young guy's name. What's the backup quarterback? Trey Lance. Trey Lance. Trey Lance. He's a Lamar Jackson like. Yes. Sk- like he's just quick. He can run the ball. He'll change the game a bit. Imagine him and Debo, like you wouldn't know mm. who to stop. Mm. Um, who he was the other go, team that you think? He won't go to Tampa Bay. Nah, Tampa Bay would Tampa. be. Tampa Bay is in trouble because Gronk, I think he's out of contract. Like he's a free agent, and so is Goblin. And they've paid a lot of money. Might, I reckon Denver will go after them. They're always good defensively, and someone like mm. him comes in, changes the game. And then I guess you probably don't know what Devonta Adams does. Does he go with him? Does he stay? Do they have the franchise tag available for Devonta Adams, or they can't? Oh, I, I thought they were going to tag him. I don't know. I think Adams goes to um, – sorry, I think I think Rogers goes to Broncos. Yeah. I think the quarterback – He wouldn't go to Saints, would he? I don't know. I don't know, man. Michael Thomas is still – people forget about Michael Thomas. He's available. So he might go to Denver with – well, Denver's already stacked, but, yeah. He's definitely going? No, he's not definitely going. No. He could stay. But yeah. I reckon he 
Yeah, they reckon that they, they reckon that a lot of their players are all free agents or at that point where they've got to sign a big deal. Yeah. So you know you know what it's like. Can't when you squeeze. How old is Rogers? Well, I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna have a punt. He's about 37, I think. But yeah, late 30s. I think he's, yeah, he's yeah. He, he he need he wants to go somewhere where he can win. He's not. Right away. That's what he said publicly. He doesn't want to come out and and play mm. for a team that's rebuilding. It's not what you want, and he wants to go, and that's what they're gonna, they're gonna face all these decisions where they're gonna cut a lot of people because of all these, well, they cap, they're, they're in trouble. Because yeah. Devonta Adams is gonna get paid an absolute stack, yeah. and yeah. if he gets paid, then, re- then no one else will be able to stay. Mm-hmm. So it'll be interesting. Yeah, it I think Denver. Yeah. People reckon Pittsburgh. Good culture, mm. winning culture, good wide receiver corp. Harris. Too close to Green Bay though. I reckon it'd be a bit of heat. Yeah, a bit of heat on him if he did that, but. So. We asked this question earlier in the year. Um, if, the, if you could be one player right now, right now, so you could have just finished your season or you could be heading into the Super Bowl, who would it be and why? In, in what context? To, to play and win or to live their life? You get to, you, to well, live their life. Cause would be AB. Nah. <laughs> 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 I was going to say, AB's hanging out with like Kanye yeah, and that, yeah, making music. He's killing it. He's making you a just fortune. Go back to the days where Dunks and I were cooking breakfast. I reckon yeah, you boys are going to fly over it. He's doing something with Donda Sports. They're creating yeah. a yeah. sports agency like yeah. Yeah. or something. Him yeah. and Kanye. Yeah, it's like that's going to be on like. It, I looked combat. it up the other day. It's already got millions of followers. Yeah, like, it's ridiculous. Like they've I've got such a platform, they can do what they want. Oh. Literally, that's, what, that's what's just happening. What I don't get is how they go to the basketball and then Kanye's like. You can't see his face. He's wearing like yeah. this thing, and you just can't. Like, how's he watching the basketball? <laughs> oh, no. Sitting courtside like Cros. Yeah, yeah. Like Cros at the NBL. Yeah. Yeah. You should rock one of them. The next oh time. mate, imagine, imagine, that. imagine rolling a John Kane arena, with, like, <laughs> just full cover. They'd be mate, like, he's a big time. He's a mask, man. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is that what he's doing? He's got a mask on or something? Oh, I don't know. AB was at the courtside at Brooklyn the day after he walked off. New yeah, the yeah. After his Mets life and just sitting there with his belt. What's your view of that incident? Because, like, every, there's a natural view of, like, he should have just stayed there. But then the way he speaks about it, yeah, he's completely content. I think there's two things. I think, he, you know, you, you probably, you never, it's like you don't ever want to quit. But um, I think that was his way of saying, that was his way of expressing himself to say, like, I'm done. Mm-hmm. Instead of staying on the sidelines, he was like, I'm taking, my, I'm taking your brand off and I don't want to be associated with it. Um, but that was was it all based off because he had a, an injury? Yeah, he was injured. Yeah, he was the injured. Coach wanted to put him in, but he didn't want to go in. Right? Yeah, and then he yeah. said, "You're done." Like apparently, that's the that's what he said. Then You're on done the, on the bench. On the bench. And they just took it to the off the court. And then he said, "And then he said, well, my phone yeah. was just going off. Everyone's <laughs> just like, like oh, oh, mate, mate. again." I'm Ever like, since these boys hung out with, you know, they've hung out with AB. No. Oh, you didn't know this? No, no. These boys were cooked in breakfast. Oh, yeah, no, I lie. I've seen him in his house. Yeah. No, but did, did they say, how did the breakfast thing come about? Because didn't you His just... chef was sick. Yeah. So, so did like you guys <laughs> just tell him? Apparently, he his chef like 50k as well. That's probably why he was sick. Yeah. He was so you guys are homies with him? Well, like, he yeah. unfollowed Crosby like the other week. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually got a good like six, seven months out of it. I was surprised. <laughs> yeah. um, it's, it's, yeah. it's funny. because It's not funny. It's crazy. Because he's actually, he was really nice to us. Like, uh, he, we walked into his house thinking, oh, he's just going to be... Think we knew you know, what we were yeah, true. Yeah, but he could have been arrogant, giving us nothing. But he took us in. He was like, "Boys, come in, cook us." Like, does anyone know how to cook? And we were I like, think, "Yeah, I bloody oath we do." The thing with probably him is like, we were lucky because we got it. It's more of like an intimate setting where we yeah, met him, and yeah. it was just like it was only him and his trainer home. And you actually get to know him on a personal basis. But like, I think when he's when there's a media around yeah. and there's he's out and about, like he just yeah he loses his mind. But yeah, Dunks Dunks set it up so you can sort of talk about. It. Yeah, well, it was just through an, a contact that I had. He used to be our GPS guide, Big Country. Yeah, oh, Jamie Big Country. Hepner. I thought yeah. it was at the footy club. Yeah, no, 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 no. Jamie Hepner, who works with Catapult. Yeah. And GPS and that over there now is huge. Yeah. So he deals with AB directly. Directly. It's pretty funny. So, how, but how, how does how does from that relationship AB get? Yeah, bring bring him to my house. Well, we were meant to meet him at the training field, and we got there and he was late. And then I sort of text Jamie and I was like, Who's oh, he playing for at this point? No, this is when he was out. Oh, so yeah. this is when he was out. When he was out with all the... He so was suspended. Yeah. Wow, okay. <laughs> yeah, so it was a big time. Jesus, what a time. So, like, he was training by himself. So, we he, we went and trained with him. He ran some routes on us. And we were trying oh, to defend him man, and stuff. That is that's yeah. a bucket list Even like, because we were in Phoenix before we went to Miami. And I think Dunks put up an Instagram story or whatever saying he was there. It might have been the Suns game. Yeah. And Jamie actually replied to him and said, like, oh, are you going to Miami at all? And he goes, oh, we're actually going there tomorrow. And then he said, well, head 
like to train with AB? And we were just like, surely not. And like, he was sort of the most infamous probably athlete in the world at that yeah, stage. Yeah, God. He so that's sort of when we were just like, oh, look, amazing opportunity to train with him. But then we were obviously cautious at the same time. We're like, oh, like, we don't know where his head's at sort of thing. But I think knowing that it was just going to be us two and his trainer, there wasn't, oh, we had his like, guy who was filming some stuff for like his vlog or something like that. And the other like, cornerback guy, who was that? He yeah, some Super other Bowl guy before. who actually was a Super Bowl winner. Yeah. He that he was like trying to spark back up, like he was actually helping him train yeah. and get him back. Well, to it's f- fascinating you say that because Weedle just come back from the Rams. Mm. He's on the streets for two years. He's mm. literally come out and said, "Once this Super Bowl is done, I'm done." And he's come back in and he's played some. You know, he's, he's playing really well, and he's potentially going to win a ring. It's amazing how he can just come in for. Th- I think he's come in for th- literally that Arizona game was his first game. Yeah, if, if I maybe think it was. Yeah, uh, maybe it was the date week before, but. Whatever it was, it was three or four games. This guy's going to come in. He's a legend of the club, yeah. and he's potentially going to pick up a ring next next week. It's just crazy how it is. how it can just work like that. And I think the defensive coordinator just mm. called him and said, "He's literally like, you good to go?" And he's like, yeah. "I'm good." He's like, oh, "I'll see you at training. Sign a deal, probably a two million dollar deal. In you come." I think I, I, um, I shot your question though. By the way, because I was fascinated by the AB story, but it was for who do we want to be and why, right? Yeah, that's the one. I think I just like the theatre and the life of OBJ. Like, he's almost... Oh, we know you do. Look at the big boys. (laughs) (laughs) But if he steps out of football, he'll still be Odell. Do you know what I mean? Like, he's got that... It's like when David Beckham left soccer. It was like, yeah, you remember him. But now he's almost bigger off the field than everything else. I feel like he could do that with NFL. Like, he's not going to be overly defined. Like, he obviously, if he doesn't win a Super Bowl, that might hurt. But he'll have a life outside of football. That'll probably make him bigger, if not bigger, than what he is. He's an entertainer. Yeah, which I love. I love that stuff. So, puts bums fan. on seats, as Toby yeah. Green used to say. Just put bums on seats, and he yeah. does. That's why I've run. That's why I'm torn with this game, um, which we're going to talk about in a second. We'll move on to the next one, which is all about Tom Brady. It's Tom Brady week. Well, it was Tom Brady week. We're about to go into Super Bowl week. But boys, we are here at Cap Z. This is um, Cap. Sorry, but it's spelt with a Z. It's uh, Z, however you pronounce it. But we're down here at High Point. Incredible store. Huge shout out to Caps for having us awesome in store. Place. Um, yeah. one of many, um, head online, and if you need a jersey, I think they're pretty much all sold out, but if you can find one, there's going to be a, a little bit of a sale this week. Um, they've got NBA, they've got, you know, your Mitchell and Ness vintage jersey, T-shirts behind, there's just hats everywhere, so... Some of the hats are sick. Oh, yeah, the hats are the cool, hats you've picked real. up one off the... Yeah. Off the it's, what is mis- that? That's a 90... 91, 92, back to back, all yeah. that's crazy. There's just so much cool stuff in it. They've even got, like, an embroidery machine, so you can, you can come in and do what you want, but... Yeah, big shout out to Caps for having us. Um, appreciate all your support throughout Tommy Talks and, and a lot of shows to come. So thank you. And I hope everyone at home that's been heading online and throwing in aces at checkout, you get yourself a nice discount. Boys, back to the um, Tom Brady. It's, we've got a giveaway online. It's, 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 um, before we do announce who the winner is of the two jerseys, and a huge th- shout out to everyone that's entered, um, what are you, you going to remember of Tom Brady? Like there's one thing on the field just purely on the field, what is the game or play moment that you remember? I just think just all like the, the game-winning drives that he has, mm. every time that you think he's out of it, even like the Super Bowl game against Atlanta, like they just look dead in the water. Yeah. And then he's, he's <coughs> never out of it. And I think everyone, every time you watch a, ta- like a Tampa game or whether it was a Patriots game, they were, every time they were down, you just knew. Like Brady was just, it's there was just something about him. He's just looking, that always pants him on the bench. He'd just be sitting there like, here we go. Yeah, yeah. Here we it's go, like he baby. loves it. And then but to have go. that persona, like, of people saying, don't write them off. Yeah. Like, in the, even in their last game, it's like, don't oh, write them off. Yeah. To have that thing that people just are like... It's like a shock when they lose. Yeah. Like, yeah. No way. Imagine being yeah, the opposition. Yeah, the opposition are like, shit, they're going to come soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even the last game you played. Yeah. God, that's when I went to Noosa. Yeah. And I got off and I was delayed. And I'm like, no, there's no there's way no they way. can win. No. It's like, mathematically, you know, it's almost impossible. Yeah, that's how you have to think. But it's, yeah, but it's yeah. not. Not yeah. when he's playing. Yeah, well, that's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like Ramsey it's Evans one on one. It's impossible, yeah, normally. Yeah. Nah, bang, touchdown. Like, <laughs> he's just so good. What's the, so just, if there's one drive that you remember, what was it? What game? And if, it, if you can't remember, that's oh, fine. Just, as I said before, I think just the overall, overall, overall him just dominating and just, even him chirping opposition. Like how when good is got, it? When they got the mics on him and he's just chirping. Like, yeah. how many times are you going to chirp to him just knowing that it's going to backfire on you? That's probably the biggest. Yeah, you just wouldn't. <laughs> you just Disrespect. 
Yeah. He's just literally the king. Yeah, literally. What about you? What's your favourite memory? Oh, like Cross said, I think all the the comeback wins or just to make the game interesting. Like, nothing really stands out to me in particular. But, yeah, just his calmness and the way that he's able to bring his team with him is pretty special. I think his, his draft story is probably what we spoke about before because, like, everyone talks about his obviously on the field, but he almost didn't like even make, make the NFL. Mm. Like, and then you look at, what, seven Super Bowls, five MVPs in the Super Bowls, and he went pick 199 in round six. Wild. Like, and I think there was a story, and I don't, correct me if I'm wrong, anyone, but he talked about it as the draft was going on. He went and picked up a baseball bat because he didn't think he was going to get drafted. Mm-hmm. He went down to like the hitting hitting range or whatever, and yeah. he got a phone call from his dad saying, "Can I have a coach here?" Pick like, one ninety nine. And then the the story because I obviously didn't watch as much NFL early doors when he started, but I found that Brady doco that just came out like the early doors when he had that relationship with the starting QB and he went down. Yeah. And the way he came in, it was like a twig, and he just held his own and just won, like yeah. he won the guy a Super Bowl. And the guy's like, "Well, I was teaching him." Yeah, yeah. Ago, now he's winning me my ring. It's ruthless, yeah. isn't it's it? It's just like a cutthroat business, and like he took his yeah. chance. It's uh, he it, was a true underdog. Yeah, it's amazing. Like he that gets overlooked, I think. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's it there's one on YouTube, and it's a similar thing. It's not like the official Brady Doco, but there was one I was like, watching the other night. Um, and Belichick was talking about. He goes, "Oh, like when they first drafted him, they're like, we'll put him on the the squad of fifty three or whatever it was, and he was going to be the fourth quarterback. And the only reason they didn't release him is because." They knew that a team was going to pick him up straight away, and they're like, "We'll just carry four quarterbacks, sick and learn." And all of a sudden, blokes start going down, bang, 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 oh. and then just the rest is history. Wild, it's the it? greatest story. It's, it's ridiculous. Just, yeah, the complete is just done it the hard way, and then now he's just <laughs> immortal. I don't no think there's will. anything like it in any sport. Nah, coming from that deep and like sort of nah, there valued isn't. as much, and then ending it as the greatest of all time. Yeah, and I was saying he's. Oh, you just released the Brady brand. Have you seen that? Yeah, I've seen it that. It looks yeah. epic, and yeah. it's already humming. Like yeah. that's a, it's got such great contacts. So if you're going to launch a brand, you just, it's pretty easy to Get do it if you're Tom Brady. You literally just chuck his last name on anything. TV 12. Yeah, TV 12. So he's pretty much set himself up. His transition looks quite seamless mm. in terms of it looks to me that he's going to do a heap of that, that stuff. And what will be interesting is will he coach or will he commentate? Because you see Tony Romo and how good he is. And then you're seeing Griffin, you know, the, I think it's Griffin. He's doing a college because they study the game and they know the game so well, they can call plays before it happens. They know every yeah. coverage. Will he go and work for? Will he? Will he stay in the game like that, or will he completely check out? That's what would you guys like as fans of him? What would you guys like to see him do? I'd like to see him be involved in the franchise. I reckon that'd be cool. Yeah, yeah. just like help younger players. Whether it's he'd probably start up like his own big academy sort of thing. There's a rumours to. to yeah, he probably will. But yeah. there was rumours Miami Dolphins. Yeah. He might jump over there. Go somewhere nice to live. And well, he's already there. Yeah. Like Pat Riley and basketball just take over a franchise and they just become a winning machine. Yeah. Well, Michael Jordan's done that and it hasn't worked, has it? Yeah, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> not far from it. So it's not that easy. But yeah, it'd be great to see him involved. It's going to be awesome to see him do that. Yeah. yeah. And everyone would just want to go there because it's him. Yeah, exactly. It would, it would work. Be drawing card. Um. Big shout out to everyone that entered our giveaway with caps um, and, and obviously the aces with two Tom Brady jerseys that we're going to give away right now. The way this is going to work, gentlemen, is I've got, the, I've got the top 10 that we selected earlier on out of everyone that entered and we're going to put them 10 into a hat, into a cap. So Crosby, chuck me that um, LA cap there. I want to chuck the names in, boys. What are they getting, Tommy? The winner gets a, a Brady jersey. The winner's going to get a Brady jersey, and they would have tagged one of their mates, their best mates in there, um, and they're, they're both going to get a Brady jersey. But to make yeah. it even more exciting, what I'm going to do is get you boys to pick one name each, and then I'm going to read the names out so you just know if you, you might come second. <laughs> <laughs> and this bloke here is going to be the reason you come so further. So I'm stitching second. one of you up. So <laughs> no, I'm not going to have much sympathy, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Crossy, pick one, mate. The Cats winner will be either. potentially either Cross. What's the name there? Ben Glover. <laughs> oh, Ben Glover. Benny boy. Benny. Mate, he could be first. He could be second. Tom Dean. Or Tommy Dean. Tom Dean or Ben Glover. So let's have what, a look. So I reckon one. he should just pick a name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that's Glover even more ruthless, isn't it? Actually, Tommy. we can we can just do it. Joking, Tommy <laughs> Dean, <mate. laughs> it could we could do 
that. What no. would you prefer to do? Would you prefer to pick a name? What's or a better name? No. No, 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 we can't do that. No, All right. we'll here we go. Names are back so in. So what I pick out is the winner. So let me just read the names out again. And big thank you to everyone that entered. We're going to do more of this stuff. Ben Glover. Glover. Not sure how to pronounce it. It's not that Glover, big. Boy. Glover, I Glover, I reckon. Big Glovesy. Or Tommy <laughs> Dean. Dino. 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 And Glovesy. <laughs> are you picking second or first? What do yeah. you want to... Well, look. last man standing or? Nah, I could just go. Well, there's only two in there. Just yeah. One and done. Go the winner. This is the winner. The right, winner. So is it Tommy Dean and either, either the winner of the Caps you know, so. Tom Brady jersey Are these giveaway. Best mates as well? They don't know each other. They don't know each other. <laughs> well, they might. Is so, the bloke that didn't win it <laughs> <laughs> is our mate Benny Glover. Oh, <laughs> Tommy, Tommy, Tommy Dean. 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 Put that on the camera, just there make sure. Yeah, well, I haven't Shop, yeah. Here, right? I don't know Tommy Dean yeah, or Benny yeah. Glover. That's Hold on, one. mate. There, there you go. go that is huge. Yeah, mate. No, face. all love Benny, mate. Don't hurt me. <laughs> that is huge. Well, congratulations, mate. And we'll send them out in the mail. We'll be in your DMs Wednesday night when the show goes to goes live, really. Um, all right, boys. Here we go. This is why we're here. Super Bowl preview. Massive game. Rams are favourites. Bengals are underdogs. Rams are at home. Bengals are away. Who wins? Who do you want to pick? Oh, here we go. Caps have got two jerseys here. Kurt Warner, the classic. The old school Rams, which is just, nice. I love that the whole thing. That is a good nice. looking so Look at that, guys. And there's not many of them available. Really nice. Davey Warner. Davey Warner. <laughs> <laughs> Davey Warner. Or I, my favourite, the guy I'm wearing now, Ocho Cinco. The legend, wide receiver at the Bengals. If you were to pick one team, boys, who are you going? Grab the jersey you like. I'll take the underdogs, mate. Underdogs? <laughs> yep. Why do you like the underdogs? I just, it's a, you know, we always talk about stories. Like, we copped it last year against the Ds. They probably had a better story than what we did. But it'd be great to see them win, not only for themselves, but... NFL franchise and yeah. the game, the sport. Yeah. It's awesome. It's been an awesome year. Ups and downs, obviously, through fantasy and stuff, but it'd be good to see them take it out. Put them on, boys. Put them on. We'll, um, we'll, we'll work these mics out. We'll, we'll come back to you in a second, but I want to see you boys in the... Jeez, they look good. They mate. feel good too, mate. <laughs> I'm purchase one of these on the way out, I reckon. They're, they're going quick. I think they're the last ones they've got. Rams for you, favourites. What do you yeah. think's going to happen? Look, my my heart sort of wants the Bengals to win, but my head's saying Rams. I think they've got too much firepower, uh, a bit more experience in their team. Um, I'll be real happy to see Stafford win one. He's been um, plodding away. Well, not really. I can't really say plodding away. He's been dominating, <laughs> yeah. but he's been stuck in Detroit for so long. Yeah. Probably hasn't got the recognition he deserves, so I'll be happy if he wins it. Um, I think Cup on the outside has been dominating. Absolutely done. Their defence, I think, is going to be... OBJ as well. OBJ, yeah, OBJ. Man, give him a chip. I think the defence is where they're going to win it, though. I think up front, they're just too strong. I think Burrows can get sacked seven or eight times. I'm hoping it's close either way. I want it to be a shootout. Like, if it's yeah. going to be low-scoring blowout, that would be terrible. So, I'm hoping for a good game, but I think the Rams will win. Yeah. What do you think, mate? Mate, I'm, uh, I'm similar to him. I would love to see Burrows win one. I like the young charisma. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think Rams are too strong. I'm a big OBJ fan, too, so I'd like to see him. Yeah. Break his drought and get a Super Bowl. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's that's my feeling. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm torn, and it and it goes into the next segment, and and this is where boys for the game, we are lucky enough to have Davil <laughs> jump on board for the Super Bowl. We're going to be going to the Ascot Vale Hotel for the Super Bowl. So if you haven't actually got a table, and you boys just had a meal there tonight, and I stayed. Beautiful. beautiful. Good food, good company. They're putting wings on. I think they got Cause Light. Grab yourself a table. We're going. We're going to vlog the day. Carry on. Big, mate. But back to dabble. I mean, I'll be having a dabble on the game. And this is why um, I wanted to talk about dabble because they are a new be you know, betting agency. And it's really cool. You can follow each other. on. It's like a social media account. Really? You can copy each other's bets. So, you know, when you, you've got a mate that, that you're like, oh, what are you doing for the game? Or what do you like? And you've got a text and all that. You can literally just go on, copy it. They've got chat lines on there. Um, the thing that's even funny is there's like a banter channel in each category, so you can talk 
Like you can talk about which sport you're on, and there's You'd just be flying through the NFL. Oh, the, yeah, you, yeah, 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 NFL. Your way through all oh, day. I just get in there, and just, oh, you said exactly what you said. I said I think Rams is my head, but Bengals is my heart. So um, everyone's like, Who, who's going to win? I go, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But um, no, big shout out to Dabble. It's um, it's it's good to be in, involved with you guys, and we're going to be having a Dabble on the game. And speaking of Dabble, this is my special. So I've got. Anyone out there that's watching, follow Tommy Tips. Um, give us a follow. Shoot us a message. And copy my bets for the Super Bowl. I've done two teams and the scenarios, I think. And these are the scenarios, all right? And let me know what you think. If Rams are to win, I've created a bet on there. OBJ, 64-plus yards was his line. Went over that. And a touchdown. You get 575. What's your thoughts? Would you copy yeah, that? I would. Well, Stafford's been dominating, so I reckon he'll be feeding the ball. If they start a double cup or something like that, I think it'll be open a fair bit. So. That's exactly what I was thinking. What do you yeah. think? Tommy the genius, mate. Yeah. You copying yeah. that? I'd copy you, mate. Yeah. You've, 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 you've been known to, what was it, the $90, $90 multi? Yeah, hit a $90 yeah, one. Yeah, I saw that flying around. Bit so of a fluky arsey one. I wouldn't, even, I wouldn't, <laughs> even, I wouldn't, even, be, I wouldn't even be looking at what you're putting out. I'd just be copying after, after I saw that. Yeah. Well, I've put a few scenarios there. What do you think? Because nah. you, you're a Bengals. Let me tell you the Bengals one I've created. Yeah, go. Because I've created both sides. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hedge my bets, right? So the Bengals one, would you copy this? I've done Higgins plus, I think, 70 yards. Oh, Bengals yeah, to win. Man, and Higgins at Tutty. $9. $9. Really? Juicy, man. Oh, I'm on that. <laughs> I'm on that for sure. Juicy. Oh, there we go. Dabble, ju pure juice. What's your handle? What's your handle on there? Tommy's Tips. Give Tommy's me a tips. follow on there. It is a great community. The best thing about it is it's a bit of banter. Um, and you, you can give can... Benny Glover a free account? Yeah, or I reckon. Oh, Benny Glover, you... Oh. One of the copy one of the yeah. <laughs> Benny, you know what, mate? Cut him in, will ya? I'll have to sort Benny out. I give might give him a double easy. hat. <laughs> <laughs> sign it, sign it. Yeah, that's worse than my joke. <laughs> <laughs> He's lost well, the brain. Tommy Sheridan, see you later. <laughs> oh, but um, I'll be having a double on the game, and anyone else out there, join. So thank you, Dabble, for jumping on, boys. I think my tip for the uh, Super Bowl. I honestly think it might be a defensive game. I'm scared. I want it to be an absolute blowout, but I've done a bit of research, and um, and the Rams' defense have only really been blown up by Brady in the last really five minutes. Before that, mm. I think they've kept you know the cards to ten. Um, last week they kept San Fran to seventeen, and Tom Brady really didn't fire a shot to the last thing. You know, so, I, I think the Rams might get on top of um, the Bengals and, and take it out, and I think Stafford will. I think he'll launch it to OBJ. Honestly, going to be putting everything on OBJ. I think he's, he's getting a TD. Well, they're going to go to Cup, a, double team. I've got a feeling he's going to show up and yeah. get a TD. I just think Cup's going to get so much attention. And Higby's out. Well, he's injured, suspect. Zuma's out um, for the Bengals. The tight end positions are just, it's like they've wiped both of them. Yeah. So I expect the wide receivers to be getting so much market share, as you'd say. And they'll be getting heaps of yards. So, yeah, really excited. Um, can't wait. Like I said, get down to the uh, Asco Vale Hotel if you're there. But um, that's pretty much it. That's the Super Bowl wrap. Big shout out to Caps. Uh, thanks for having us in store. Awesome store. Yeah. Awesome store. Honestly, I'm glad you guys got to come in. I think it's, it's, it's an incredible store. They've got everything in here from all your new era Caps. And like I said, your Mitchell and Ness vintage and jerseys. NBA on the right, which you can't see. So head online and drop aces at checkout if you're going to buy something. But um, that's it, boys. That's a wrap. Thanks That's all I've got for you. Good fun. Back Appreciate to training it. for you boys. Back to the grind, brother. You know how MEK's <laughs> tomorrow. Nah. nah none sure. tomorrow, mate. None. No none. stairway to hell. Day off. No nah. stairway. <laughs> yeah. Stairway to heaven <laughs> on Tuesday. I'll that in the States. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, it's good. Nah, thanks for, ha thanks for coming on, yep. boys. I really appreciate thanks, it. It's good to see you. And, um, yeah, big year for both of you. Get back on the get back on the number one at the end of the year. Be nice. Could be a rematch at the G. That'd be sick. Yeah, that would be good. I'm calling it now. Rematch at the G. <laughs> <laughs> it's round one, gonna... mate. It's round one. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, yeah round one. Oh, I was talking about the last round. Yeah, I know you were. But <laughs> yeah. Round one. Oh, you're wow. round That'd one. be a ripper. Yeah. The AFL have just cool. tactically put that on the calendar. Whose home game is it? Probably theirs, I would have thought. Yeah, because you need your tickets, mate. Sorry, bro. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'll hit the D's boys up. <laughs> 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 That's it. Thanks for tuning in. Great to be back. Season two, Tommy Talks in Melbourne. We're going big. See you next week. Thank you.